Here are the finished products. I think they turned out really cute. <laughs> That is so cute. For Bria, I got her these two. They're so tiny. Guess who got mastitis again? Blueberry lemon muffins. Yep. Lunch. Every time I think I'll be able to do it so much faster so I won't cry as much. Hi guys, I am doing a little intro to this vlog because a lot of the footage in this, well most of the footage is spread out over so much time. That wasn't the plan when I started filming it and then it just kept getting like, I'd film a couple clips and then it would be like days before I'd film again and then I'd film again and then it'd be like a week before I filmed again. So I think the first footage in this video is literally over a month ago now and I thought about just not even putting it up and just saving it for us and then I was like, why not? It's cute footage of Bria and it's literally the day that she turned two months old and now she turned three months old like two days ago so it's over a month old but I thought that people might still enjoy it some of the stuff at the end I literally filmed today so that's more recent but I hope you enjoy seeing some things just like from over the past month happy Saturday guys this is probably just gonna be kind of a weekend vlog we're actually about to film another video today. I just got back from Starbucks with Quinn. I never do stuff like that, but I happened to go this morning and I didn't have my camera with me. I actually vlogged it on my phone a little bit. You're mad. Yeah, we'll get it out. Good morning. Are you at Starbucks with mom? <laughs> Look at that hair. I just came to Starbucks with Quinn. I picked her up from my parents' house. She spent the night there tonight, or last night. Um, and we have so much to do today. And Eric and I have just been so drained lately. So I was like, I'm just gonna drive to Starbucks and surprise them and get something. Cause I literally never do this. Thank you for what? Oh, did I tell her thank you? Thank you. Thank you. So I got us some sandwiches and some drinks and I even got Quinn a little drink. So this is the third day in a row that Eric and I have tried to film this part of the room makeover video. Both other times that we tried to film it, we literally like tore our bedroom apart. By the time we finished, the room was too dark to film in. It wasn't like dark outside, but it was just too cloudy. I've been like so frustrated about it. Anyway, here we are on Saturday filming it. So hopefully it'll work out today. It's like 10 o'clock right now. I actually need to be feeding Bria, but she hasn't woken up yet. So my mom is coming at 11 too to kind of help us with Quinn and Bria while we're trying to film the part of the video. I just got out this little game for Quinn yesterday. It's the Very Hungry Caterpillar card game and it's supposed to teach them the days of the week. I know she literally just turned two a week ago, but since she knows her numbers and her alphabet and her colors, I thought, why should I not start teaching her the days of the week? Even if she doesn't comprehend yet like what they mean, she can at least learn the words and what order they go in. And then later she'll end up comprehending like that they mean what the day is. She loves to organize things. So, so far she just likes to organize them into the box. We'll probably actually play this game a little later on today. Does Bria need to wake up? I'm gonna try to film a day in the life with a toddler and newborn this week sometime because Bria baby turned two months old today already and I literally looked it up the other day to see like when a baby is not considered a newborn anymore and they said until two months so I'm just gonna film it this week even though she just turned two months old because nothing about our schedule like two days from now is gonna be any different than it has been while she's been a newborn she's she started sleeping through the night like pretty early like at least five hours or more and now she sleeps about like six hours i do just want to film like a day in our life though because i did that with quinn as a newborn and i love that i have that video so and i know people really like to watch those good morning She's definitely seeming a lot older the last week. She's making little squeaky noises and just doing like older baby things. We just finished filming the part that we needed to film for the video today. We, I think we're gonna film more of it later. The part for right now is finished and Quinn just asked me, she's on her bed right now. She just asked me to bring her a blanket and pillow. It's past her nap time. I wish I could just let her sleep on our bed but she's never done that and I feel like she wouldn't sleep that good just since it's different. Oh no. oh no, is it dark in here now? 
perfect for sleeping. She looks so tired. You want to take your nap in mom and dad's bed? Yes. Yes? Okay. That's fine. We can read our books in here too. I feel like she's just gonna start crying <laughs> once I walk out. We'll see how this goes. We're going on Eric's family vacation in a few months and have been saying we don't wanna bring two pack and plays anyway. So we wanted her to sleep in the bed with us, which she did last summer when we went on vacation. But now that she's older, I just don't know. George. Do you hear George? Why? Was he crying? <laughs> we put on Curious George for her while we were filming. Eric just put Quinn down for her nap and now we're both in the kitchen cooking, which is kind of rare. What are you making? Show us. Blueberry lemon muffins. Yep, we made the chocolate ones in one of my last videos and we had also gotten the blueberry lemon ones, so we haven't had them yet. Eric's making them. It smells super good. Can you smell them? Mm -hmm. it smells really good. I am in the process of making homemade chicken and rice soup. I'm using my chicken noodle soup recipe that I've shown a billion times, but I'm just using white basmati rice instead of the noodles. So I just mostly cook the rice first. Like it says to cook it for 15 to 20 minutes, but I'm just cooking it for 10 and then I'll let it cook the rest of the way in the soup. Otherwise it'll get too mushy. make the effort to chop my onions in an electric chopper so that I can still cry. <laughs> every time I think I'll be able to do it so much faster so I won't cry as much and every time I still look like this after chopping onions. Okay it has been actually like over a week, probably like almost two weeks since the rest of this video because guess who got mastitis again? I literally don't know why I keep getting mastitis. <laughs> My videos are so random and out of order right now just because everything has been like so busy. So I think the video that went up before this is me saying that breastfeeding is going a lot easier and it is now. So I got mastitis before I said that in that video and like it's all over and I'm fine now, but I'm just saying that's the reason why this is now being filmed like two weeks after the rest of the footage in this. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys my diffuser because I talked about it like a few videos ago and then I forgot to actually show it when it came in and I said I was going to and it's so pretty. Here it is. I love it so much. I actually just now brought it in my bedroom. I've had it out in the kitchen for a while. It's basically a dupe for the Young Living diffuser. If any of you guys have seen that, it is super expensive, like hundreds of dollars. This one was 90 and I'm almost like embarrassed to say that because honestly, I'm not a big splurger but I just think a lot of diffusers are ugly and don't want them sitting out and I thought this one was super pretty so I also feel like it's something I'll probably get a ton of use out of so that's why I did splurge on it the reason I actually moved it into our bedroom is because some of you guys commented on the video where I said I was getting a diffuser and talked about the oils and said that I needed to look the oils up because they could be poisonous to dogs. And thank you for commenting that because you were right. I've like never dealt with essential oils before so it never crossed my mind that they could be like toxic for dogs when they're like healthy for humans and obviously other things are like that too but it just like hadn't crossed my mind. Also I just wanna say thank you to all the people that told me that in the comments. Thank you for being nice about it because I feel like that's something that people could easily be rude about. But I genuinely did not know that some essential oils were toxic to do toxic to dogs and turns out from the research I've done since then that eucalyptus and citrus are both toxic to dogs and those are the two that I got so that's why I'm moving it into my bedroom because Ace is like never in our bedroom anymore. Especially since having Bria, we just try to really keep him out of here because I change her diaper in the morning and throw it on the floor and sometimes I don't like end up picking it up till later in the day and if he was like allowed in here, he would just tear the diaper apart and he gets into the hamper. So we just really don't let him in here. So I feel like it's safe for me to use the oils in here, especially if it's like at night or something. I don't know, honestly, I feel like now I just have so much more research I need to do about oils, but I did look up 
specifically what oils are safe for dogs and a lot of websites said lavender is and they also said it's calming so ace could always use something to calm him down a little bit so i am planning on getting a lavender oil and then maybe i'll like use that one and move it back out because i don't want to only have the diffuser in the bedroom i got in some things that i had ordered for quinn and bria's easter baskets so i wanted to show them i don't think this is everything that i'm putting in them but it's some of the stuff so i'll do like a more updated one once i get everything but i will link everything below so these are for quinn's easter basket my friend Emily actually suggested this. It's like a Bible stories water wow. Quinn loves doing water wows. So she told me she found this on Amazon and it's perfect for her. And then my friend Clarissa actually had suggested these. I needed a gift for someone a while back and she's very good at gifting. So she had suggested these. It's basically scavenger hunt cards. So it says like different things around the house that the toddler can go and find. I really think that'll be so good for Quinn right now. And I hope that she loves it because it'll give her something to do while I'm feeding Bria where she can still like interact with me. I'm hoping. I think even if we do it when I'm not breastfeeding, she'll probably enjoy it more, but at least I'll be like playing a game with her where I can like show her the picture and be like, hey, go find a sock and whatever else is on them. Just like things around the house, like on the back it shows finding a book, finding just like little things that will be easy for her to bring to me. I think she'll love that. I also got her the Good Night God book because she has the Good Morning God book and I think it's so cute. So I've wanted to get her this one ever since I got her the Good Morning one. And you know I'm always looking for an excuse to buy more kids books. I also got both of them some bracelets. So these are from Daisy's Dainties and I've talked about them before because I've bought Quinn bracelets from them. I thought this one with the little gold flowers would be so cute for Quinn in the summer. So I got her that one and then for Bria I got her these two. They're so tiny. You can't even tell on here but they're like just the tiniest little bracelets. So Quinn has this white one so I thought I'd get her a matching one to Quinn's and it just goes with everything. And then this one I thought was so pretty. It's just multicolored so I thought that one would also kind of just go with everything but they're so cute. I literally, this is the thing I'm most excited about. Then I got Bria this book, What is a Flamingo? We have the What is a Sloth one that my friend Kaylee got for Bria actually. They have a few different ones. I think there's like a What is a Llama one. I don't even remember what else but they're really cute so I got her that. And then look at this little outfit. I don't even think, this is from Amazon too. I don't think you can even see like how pretty the color is. It's like such a pretty blue color. Just little daisies. It's like a little sweatshirt and matching sweatpants. It was the smallest size they had and I definitely think that this is not going to fit her for like so long. I actually think these pants would literally like fit Quinn right now but I might be able to like put her in this sweatshirt in a couple months with some other little pants or tights or something. I just thought it was the prettiest ever. It also came with this headband that matches but I really don't ever see myself using this. I think it's a headband. Maybe it's a belt. I literally don't know. Like I said, I will link all of this stuff below and then if I end up getting anything else, I will also link that. Oh, I also wanted to get some hair bows like we need any more. We have so many, but that is something else that I was going to look into and possibly get for their Easter baskets. We are getting ready to go over to my parents' house kind of for the day, like until Eric gets off work. Um... <laughs> Quinn is doing her daily chore before we go, getting Ace some food for while we're gone. She also asked to bring her backpack to Grammy's house, so I don't even think there's anything in it, but I'm sure we'll fill it with some nice things before we go. Does he need some more? Up, up. You picked it up? In, in. Oh, good job. You gotta put, you gotta scoop it. Put it in the scoop. Yeah. Here, good job. Use the scoop. Oh, good job. Can I vlog now? Go ahead. What should I say? <laughs> <laughs> um, hey guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> We're going to Noodles. <laughs> it's April Fools, but I couldn't think of a prank to do on her, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I actually thought she pranked me when she asked me if I wanted to go to Noodles for a while. I wouldn't do that. I actually love Noodles. Me too. <laughs> I'll vlog when we get there. 
<laughs> so funny. Okay, we got our food. What did you order? Pesto kamitake. Let's see it. <laughs> um, oh, this is oh, my okay. go-to. Yeah, she gets this literally every time we go to noodles. I got... <laughs> oh my gosh, they added chives. Did they not usually? What did you even get? <laughs> I got the wrong one. You did? Yeah. What did you get? The buffalo one? Yeah. Did you get... Oh. <gasps> and you wanted barbecue? Yeah. Uh-oh. Do you even like buffalo? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I need to try it. I think it's gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have my teeth? No. Reality of any meal with Julie. <laughs> I finish just about every bite and she's full after like two bites. That's how it is when I eat with anyone. Yep. It takes me a while to finish stuff. Not me. I I'm always the first one done. <laughs> yeah, you are. And you feast. You could eat like 10 of these in my one sitting. That is not even like false. <laughs> True. Oh. Like, yes, <laughs> Update though, it is good even though I got the wrong order. <laughs> All morning she was telling me she was gonna get buffalo mac and cheese and then she had to keep correcting herself to say, I mean barbecue. Then we get here, what does she order? Buffalo mac and cheese <laughs> instead of the barbecue. But it's not bad, it's good. <laughs> I do not like bar or buffalo flavor. Really? I yeah, I never have, I don't know why. Yeah. And I'm not a picky eater, and that's one of the like few things that I don't like is buffalo flavor. Joy just opened her Rice Krispie <laughs> Treat and asked if I wanted to vlog it, so here we are. <laughs> it's just really nice looking and it, it smells, smells really so good. good. Here's a taste test. Why didn't you eat off of my egg? I don't like to. That's offensive here. We're done eating and we're nice and full. <laughs> Why is that funny? This was who, so fun. Who says we're nice and full? Apparently you do. <laughs> this did you have so fun, fun with me? I really did. It was so nice. It was? Yes. Did you have fun with me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why was it fun? Because we never do this, ever. Good, I'm glad you liked it. It has literally been a couple weeks now since everything else in this video. I know one of the last things I showed in this video was in, like what I was putting in Quinn and Maria's Easter baskets. Easter is in three days now, so I am about to put their Easter baskets together. I totally planned on this video going up way, way, way sooner and then you guys would have had time to like order the things that I showed for Easter if you wanted to, but that didn't happen. You can still order them because they're cute things if you want for just whatever, but my guess is this will end up going up too late for you to get them for Easter. So this is the cute little Easter basket that I got for Quinn last year. It was from the Target dollar section and I wanted to go back this year and see if they had anything similar for Bria this year so they'd have matching ones, but I ran out of time and I have this one, which is actually my own childhood Easter basket that my mom gave me once I got married. So this one will just be Bria's Easter basket this year. This is even my own Easter grass from childhood. <laughs> I think I'm gonna switch that out though because I have really cute Easter grass from last year. And I have extra, a lot of extra. I pretty much already showed everything that I am putting in the Easter baskets. I didn't end up ordering ordering anything else. I wanted to order some hair bows and it didn't, I didn't end up doing it. Also, do you guys remember when Quinn wore this last year in a picture? It was so cute. Here are the finished products. I think they turned out really cute. This carrot actually looks a little messed up, but that's okay. I ended up just hooking Quinn's bracelet onto the front because I felt like it was just gonna drown in the Easter grass in here somewhere, and it was a little hard to figure out how to fit all that in, but she will not care how it fits in there. <laughs> Here's Bria's. I actually couldn't even fit in the pants that go with the little sweater, so I just stuck the sweater in there and her book and her bracelets and then popped a couple Easter eggs in them and I think they're really cute. 
Hi. Oh, oh. Are those your books? Oh. Yeah, you can open them. I thought we would do a little spring book haul because I started doing some book hauls a while back and you guys really liked it and I haven't done one in a while. So, oh. you wanna open it? Yay. I thought it would be fun to do with Quinn here since they're her books and Bria's now. Mommy, mommy, dump out. So, you want me to dump them out? These are... Hey, Quinn. Okay, come on this side if you wanna see Quinn. There's Quinn. Here, come back here. Whoa. <laughs> So these will just be some of my favorite books for her. Here, you gotta sit over here. Or you can stand. Shoes these off. are just, you wanna take your shoes off? Yay. Yes, okay, come here. These are just gonna be some of my favorite books that I have for them for like spring slash Easter. Only a couple of them are like specific to Easter. Ah, ah, ah. So I showed these literally like over a year ago probably. My friend Thank Carissa you. gave them to Quinn for her birthday and they're little... Tongue out. out. Okay, what? Tongue out. Tongue out? Out. You want these books out? Yes. Okay. Off. They're just cute little springy stories about animals going to the market. This one is a trip a trip to the wildflower meadow, a trip to the forest, and a trip to the farmer's market. So they're all just kind of like springy nature -y books and they're super cute. And honestly, the pictures are like very simple and subtle. And at first she wasn't like stoked about these books, I think because they weren't as bright and flashy, but that was like when she turned one. And recently she really oh, enjoys yeah. them. <laughs> oh, what's that one? Bobo. Who is that book about? Jesus. So that one, she actually got that one and this one at my baby shower for her. I think I've mentioned this before, but if you guys are thinking about, if you want to get like a good collection of books for your baby before they're born and you're having a baby shower, put on the invitation, bring a book instead of a card. <laughs> so somebody gave her both of these at her baby shower and she loves them both. Julie just got this one for Bria actually when she was in Florida. She brought them both back as souvenir and she brought this one. The Easter Bunny is coming to Florida. It's super cute. Abby got her this one. It's just a golden book. Home for a bunny. This one Julie got for Quinn for Christmas. I put it on her Christmas list and it is the cutest ever. Literally the most like detailed, it's not even lift a flap because they're not all lift a flap. There's like, I don't know where Mickey and Goofy are. I don't even want to suggest it though because it's like broken. Like they don't work good. And I'm so sad because it's like the cutest little, like super cute, book about the weather. You're supposed to be able to pull this and it changes her into her swimsuit, but it like gets stuck. And like Quinn can't even do it on her own and I always have to fix it and I feel like it's about to break. This one is the snow. See, oh. Yeah, it, it literally just broke. But it's so cute and this one is also ripped and it's supposed to be like showing the rain. Like this would be such a cute book, but they just like, it doesn't really work. This one works, <laughs> kind of. This one is my favorite though, and it's always worked. You want to do the rainbow? Like, what? It works, yeah. So anyway, I think it's so cute for spring, and I can still read it to her, obviously, but like the actual <laughs> flaps, or whatever you want to call them, mostly don't work. That is so cute. You gonna show that one? Here, cross. you want to show this one? Oh, is that a cross? This one is the story of Easter. I'm pretty sure this one's from my parents to her and it's just a little book about the story of Easter and Jesus dying on the cross and the resurrection. Yeah, we'll read it later. This one she also got at her baby shower. It's love, I love you all the time and I just think it's cute for spring with the bunnies and mm -hmm, we'll read this one later too. This one is Little Chick. 
I actually found this at Aldi, but they do have it on Amazon. I checked. So all of these will be linked in my storefront if I can find them on Amazon, but I think I'll be able to find most of them. But anyway, it's just the story of like a little chick hatching and um, then they fly south for the winter and the pictures are super cute. And then at the end, he meets a little bird and they build a nest together and, and he ends up having his own eggs. And last but not least, can't forget We Are the Gardeners by Joanna Gaines. Quinn loves this one. I feel like I'm saying that about every book and I don't even need to because she loves every book. Obviously this one is about gardening and it's just really cute and very springy too. Mm -hmm. 